Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, May 10th, and a big happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. I know this is not going to be a typical Mother's Day, and probably not going to be able to go out for brunch and all that sort of stuff, so just think of it as celebrating Father's Day, where you get a crappy tie and you go mow the lawn. All kidding aside, I hope you all have a, have a wonderful, wonderful day. So, it is cold here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, we actually had frost the past two mornings. I don't know what's going on. There's been snow in some parts of PA, and certainly north of here there's been snow. It's May, for goodness sakes. Let's get right into it. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you my impressions of uh, Cornell and Deal's Bradyville, which, uh, yeah, I know it's useless to hold these bags up which I've been smoking over the past two weeks, uh, not every day, but I, I decided I'm going to go through three of the, in my opinion, lesser known Cornell and Deal blends, uh, Bradyville, Yorktown, and Shelbyville. Uh, probably in that order. So the first one was Bradyville. Uh, and I've enjoyed this. I've, I've had, you know, enough time to, to really get to know the tobacco a bit. So I'm going to smoke some of it and tell you what I think. Uh, to give you the description of this, I'm going right to the source. This is from the Cornell and Deal uh, webpage. Uh, a caution about tobacco reviews. I mean, I, I look at tobacco reviews myself, and uh, it, it's often informative. But they don't always get the descriptions right. Uh, they sometimes add things that aren't there, and, and uh, I like to go right to the source for the description of what is in the tobacco. So, what they say about Bradyville. The road to Bradyville starts with a foundation of mild Cavendish, bolstered by the mellow framework of stoved bright Virginias and cube-cut Burleys, imbued with a brandy top note. It's sure to be a journey worth taking. Okay. Uh, always love the poetic tin language. <laughs> so, Cavendish, uh, stoved bright Virginias, cube-cut Burley, and then a, a top note that is brandy. Uh, the Cavendish is not black Cavendish, it's a uh, brown Cavendish, and I think that what Cornell and Deal might be doing here, let me see if I can get some of this out just to show you the sort of general idea, it's, you know, ribbon cut, very, very nice loose ribbon cut, easily packs. Um, what I think Cornell and Deal is doing here is they're using the same process that they use in their uh, autumn evening, which is they, they have this... Um, brown Cavendish that I believe is a Virginia Cavendish and they somehow uh, steam apply the topping so that the topping actually gets infused into the leaf. Now the beauty of that is you don't get this goopy aromatic thing it, it's actually a flavored tobacco and I think because of that they don't have to use propylene glycol or even uh, chemical flavorings they're using more natural flavorings so I've found not all Cornell and Deal aromatics, for sure, but several of them are aromatics that I can smoke, even though I'm very sensitive to the chemical flavorings used in, in aromatics. I love autumn evening, and I don't get any of that chemical flavoring. This I, I also find to be um, quite a pleasant smoke, and I uh, do not get those, chemicals, so those chemical tastes. So let's uh, load up the pipe. I'm actually going to smoke this in my bamboo pipe that was made for me by... Uh, full smoking bar, and uh, Nick did a wonderful job on this pipe. It's made of, uh, everything's bamboo, this is a Missouri Meerschaum stem, and he used pipe mortar to, to line the inside of it, and it just smokes fantastic, and it turns out it smokes aromatics very well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load up the pipe with some Bradyville. Now, while I'm doing that, I'll tell you my my initial sort of impressions of the, of the the tobacco in terms of packing and things like that. It, it packs well, it's you know loose ribbon cut, not too fine, not too thick. Um, moisture content is perfect for me. You know, Cornell and Deal tends to be a bit on the dry side with their tobaccos, which I like because I don't like paying for water, but uh, there are other folks that say it, it burns too hot and you know you might want to moisturize it a bit. Um, but by and large this has been just about perfect. Uh, it is a bit more moist than something like Haunted Bookshop, for example, so, you know, which is to be expected with an aromatic. All right, so we got it packed in the pipe. Let's light it up. Very 
Where's my tamper? Oh, it was hiding behind the coffee. Now the first thing that you're going to get, you know, with the initial light is that topping, and it's it's nice. Um, it is termed brandy, um, and I can I can definitely see that it is a brandy note. Um, in the pouch, it certainly smells very sweet, very almost like cherry-like in, in some ways. Uh, don't be scared by that. It doesn't taste at all like cherry. But the flavor is, is again, I can understand the brandy. It's not alcohol. It's not, it's not like a strong alcohol flavoring. But it's got a fruit fruitiness to it that, you know, if, if it is brandy, I'm going to say that it's something like a peach brandy. Um, I definitely get some peach flavor off of the top note. And the nice thing about this, uh, unlike a lot of aromatics, is that that top note actually can be detected pretty much to the bottom of the bowl. I mean, maybe in the last third you lose you lose it, and the, the tobaccos become more dominant. But you can still, if you search for it, it's still there. It doesn't overpower the tobacco. I mean, I can definitely get some burley, although not a lot of burley, um, but it's there. A tiny bit of fruity, tangy, citrusy sort of flavors from the Virginia. But without question, the predominant tobacco in this is, is the, uh, the brown Cavendish. So you're not getting a lot of flavor from that. You're getting some sweetness. You're getting the... Uh, the melding properties of Cavendish, which are always useful in, in a blend, and you're getting the flavoring that's being carried by that Cavendish, uh, the, this peach brandy sort of flavor. My wife reported that uh, the room note was fine. Uh, <laughs> she didn't say it was great, she didn't say it was awful, she just said it was not a problem. So. It's rare that she even comments. I, I had to ask her, and often she'll say something like, I didn't even know you were smoking. So she just doesn't pay attention. Uh, but if it was offensive, she would have told me. So, so uh, overall, I think this is a really nice tobacco. It's, if you're an aromatic smoker, you should probably give it a try. If you're if you're an aromatic heater, uh, this might be one. You know, if you're like me, where you're wishing you could enjoy an aromatic, but just never have found one that works for you, this might be one worth trying. The flavorings do appear to be natural to me. The problem for me with this is that, you know, a, a good a good tobacco, period, but certainly a good aromatic tobacco, has to also have the underlying tobacco uh, supporting it. You know, it can't just be all about the topping. And while this is quality tobacco and it's not a goopy aromatic that, you know, where they take lousy tobacco and try to dress it up with the sauce, it's not that. It's quality tobacco, but because it's predominantly that uh, Cavendish, it just doesn't have a lot of tobacco flavor. So if what you're looking for is a nice peachy brandyish kind of smoke, uh, this would probably be right up your alley. But if you're looking for some really good tobacco accentuated by that note, this is probably not the blend to try.
I'm glad I tried it. Um, like I said, I just wanted to pick a couple. Since the Cornell and Deal catalog is so vast, I wanted to pick a few and just see uh, that I had never tried and just see how they are. Um, so I'm glad for the experience. I only bought an ounce. Uh, I will finish this, but I will not likely purchase uh, Bradyville again just because it's not my kind of tobacco. So next up, and I'm going to give myself two weeks because it takes me a while to get used to a tobacco and I don't want to exclusively smoke it. So in two weeks time I'll go on to, is the right pouch? Yes, Yorktown. And Yorktown is a uh, straight Virginia blend, so looking forward to giving that a try. So if you would like to smoke along, go get yourself some Yorktown. I know some of you guys said you already are smoking it. And I got some good comments when I mentioned it in the, uh, the video a couple weeks ago when I said I was going to be doing this. So if you're a Yorktown smoker, I'll look forward to your comments. If you've had Bradyville, let me know in the, in the comments if you're going to try it try it out and come back to this video and let us know what you think of it. Uh, it'd be great to, to have more of a conversation about this. One to other things, and speaking of conversations, we had a great uh, Friday night live stream conversations with pipe smokers. This past Friday uh, it was uh, Northwest Pipe Smoker. And Tom was just fantastic, so if you Missed that one, please uh, go check it out. It was just this past Friday, and you can find it. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link downstairs. Uh, also, we've got a raffle going on a uh, raffle for that uh, bamboo shank church warden that I made out of Father Anthony's bamboo shank pipe. It was the, the half that I didn't use in his pipe. And uh, it's a really cool church warden. I think it's, uh, it's something that you're going to enjoy if you like church wardens or if you've always wanted to have one I think it's perfect for a, a nice long smoke and I'll put uh, I probably will put a picture in here but I'll also put a link down below to that video uh, chances are just five dollars and I'm going to have the drawing next Saturday uh, during my monthly uh, thank you live stream uh, I'll also be doing a giveaway I don't know what I'm going to be giving away yet it will probably be a tin of tobacco and I'll, you know, you'll see that in the announcements and everything for the Saturday live stream. So we'll do the, the raffle drawing, uh, we'll do the live stream giveaway, and we'll, we'll just have some fun. So join me next Saturday. Uh, I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, Shop-wise, making, making another batch of those camo stems, and that's taking me some time. They're all sold. Uh, I, I'm telling you, I could... Uh, I could make camo stems for uh, and do nothing else and be a, be a happy guy, but uh, the fact is, there's you know, obviously not everybody on the planet wants a camo stem. It's just the demand for those was was incredible. I really must have struck a nerve with that. And I guess with hunting season, it all makes sense. So I'm not going to make any more of those. Uh, the batch that's sold is sold. Uh, tune in next uh, next spring. Maybe I'll make another batch. I don't know. And um. I finished a really interesting video on some work I did on a reverse calabash. I think it was interesting. That is going to be posting not this week but next week because uh, I haven't got the video edited yet. It's going to be a single episode but uh, some interesting work. And then I'm currently working on a, uh, a little Dunhill that I'm videoing that's, uh, I think, going to be an interesting series. So, you can look forward to those. Lots of pipe work going on. Uh, today, I'm probably not going to do a lot of pipe work. i got to clean up. I, I like to clean up on Sundays and get my lathe oiled up and take care of paperwork and that sort of stuff. Uh, might do a little stem work, not sure. Got to do some outdoor once it warms up. <laughs> Got to do some outdoor work. The, uh, the Get one of the garden beds turned over. I still have to build a couple of garden beds, but it, I was going to do it this weekend, but it was freezing. Uh, 
So hopefully I'll find some time during the week to get that started. And the weeds are coming up, so i got to deal with them. Yep, good stuff. I hope you're all doing well. Um, staying sane in these crazy times. The light is getting brighter at the end of the tunnel. And uh, we just have to keep that in mind. And we'll get there. Um, and we'll get there together. And uh, it's a great source of support. The fact that you guys are watching this right now really helps me out a great deal. And uh, the fact that you're making videos that I can watch. I haven't had a lot of time to, to watch videos, but when I get the chance, I watch one or two of them. And I'm telling you, it can, it can really make my whole day just to hear like-minded people talking about things that I'm interested in. And I don't care if it's the new pipe you bought or the fact that you just mowed your lawn. I really don't care. I just want to have time to sit down and have a smoke with a friend. So, it's good stuff. Thank you all for that. Have a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.